ushawe yona mtu anatoa testimony akisema mimi nimekaa nikiwa ngii tangu nizaliwe ati mzee yako hivi na ni muafrika mgani hakuna nothing like that Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Estamigo once again kwa channel yangu nilisema hakuna kuficha. Nowadays LGBTQ kila place ina trend but watu wanaogopa kuongea kwa sababu tuseme kama 20 years ago hiyo ni kitu hata hainge kuingia kwa maid kwa sababu hizo vitu hazikuwa but nowadays zimefika na ziko hapa Kenya lazima tuongee. So topic ya leo nimeona lazima niongelele my view on this issue. Eh, kulingana na my views mimi venye naona Kenyan are doing it for money everyone is, is doing it for crowd chasing hakuna mtu atinige watu wanafanya for for money because i heard that organization is funding their members so nimekamu kufanya research nimehoji watu unajua si rahisi sana mtu akubali kukuja kwa kamera akisema venye anafanyanga but most of them 95% they are doing it for money because they know the, the organization will be funding them this and this is kenya everyone is broke and they can do anything for money so usikumbali mtu akundeceive akikwambia fanya hivi fanya hivi that 5% ni ya wenye wanadhani ni ukweli kuna watu ngi so unastukia unaona best yako sijui ana trend tiktok ana trend youtube so unafikiria ni ukweli lakini 95% of Kenyan gays and lesbians they are doing it for money they are just crowd chasing because unaona mtu amefungua TikTok once ame come out unaona ana trend so ni trend iko lakini sasa mtu asikudeceive ufikiria ati ni ukweli huyu mtu ni gay hakuna mtu anaweza come out Kenya kwa sababu homosexuality ni illegal so mtu kuona ati mtu ame come out mpaka ati unaona na record video akiwa na mamake akiwa amevaa dress zote ni ku crowd chase kwa sababu in africa especially in my country there is nothing like that and parent cannot allow it that is the bitter truth so ukiona mtoto, mtoto na mamake wamekuja tu kwa camera siji i understand my kid there is nothing like that people are doing it for money that is my view and i know it that is the fact hakuna mtu anaweza kuja ati kwanza niliona mwingine ameshika nyanya yake mzee mzee mama nyanya yake ni mzee ako na miaka kama 90 alafu anamshika mkono na amevaa dress akijiva hakuna mgani especially from my community hakuna mtu anaweza kubali kitu kama hiyo wazazi wale wanajua tu hizo vitu hata wanasikia wanajua hiyo kitu ni satanic hiyo ni bitter truth wacha niwaambie ukweli kama wewe uko hapo na unaona mimi marafiki zako wana trend TikTok juu wame come out usikumbalie kwenda kufunguliwa mbuti na ni uongo watu wengine wanafanya hivyo juu ya pesa e, kila mtu ako na shida ya pesa nilikuwa naongea tunaongea tu story tukiwa watu wengi na unasikia mtu akikwambia we mi wakiniambia wananipea 50000 he mi hata nitaweka devu unaona mimi hata nitavaa dress unasikia kijana akisema anaweza vaa dress bora ni pesa We can do anything for money as long as the organization is funding us. But the 5% I was talking about wao ni wale watu wanadhani ni ukweli. Unaona watu wana trend TikTok unasema ha hata mimi naweza come out. Unaanza uto lakini hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Hiyo ni ukweli iko lakini watu wanaogopa kuongelelea hiyo story. That is my view. Mimi nikiulizwa nilisema I will be speaking my mind ikikamu ni kama na lesbianism watu wakiwa high school inakuanga tu pia pressure kwa sababu unaona ya wasichana hata haikuangi serious juu obvious mtu akimaliza akienda college unasikia mtu aliolewa na akona watoto this is africa as long as you are a lady you will one day you will get married and have kids as long as you are a man whether you are practicing it you have to get married You cannot come out to your parent and tell them I'm interested to the same gender. Nothing like that in Kenya. Nothing. Even in Africa, there is nothing like that. But as long as people are broke, 
they can do anything for money. Usione mtu ati amekuja hapo na nyanyake, wakiongea, ati unadhani hapana. What they do, they go to their parent, they tell them, mom, the organization is giving us money, so we have to, you have to pray along, like you are supporting me, just that. But wewe uko hapa unafikiria watu wanaenda kufanya hizo tambia. They are not doing it. Unastukia most of the Kenyan gay are married and they have kids. Yes. And they are partner are okay with it. Because they are making money. So. Watu lazima wangbiane ukweli. Watu wasikuwe hypocrite. Mbona unastukia kamutu ni kabazu ni kademu. Kananjifanya lele. Anakaka kidogo na muona na mimba. Imefika kwa tutu kwa kifua. Ako karimbu kuza. That is our culture. Na sidhani kama watu wanaiza change kwa sababu. Wazazi ya wawezi kumbali. Unless 50 years to come with a generation itazariwa badai. Lakini saai estuali. Estuali. Watu wawezi kumbali vitu kama hizo. Lakini hile kitu hiko ni venyo watu ni hypocrite. Uwezi niambia inafika please. Kwanza kuna unaiza situkia mtu ako tiktok na njifanya ningeni. Lakini kwa ground. Ako na watoto watatu na bibi. And they are okay with it. Unaita familia unawambia me I'm just going there to do business. That is the bitter truth. Because I'm getting paid. Ukirejista watu wanalipua. Kulingana na venye najua. Watu wanalipua. Kuna wengine nirihoji wakaniambia hapana. Nirikuwa na wauna tu police moja. Wanaweka picha, status, wanakisiana na niwasiana. Lakini juu moja likuwa mbesti nirimuliza. Ayo. Uko siri ya zaka niambia, hapa na miya tani kona boyfriend, hii ni picha tutu nataka kutuma. Tuweke kwa grupu ingine, hivo tu. Lakini kila mtu kwa ground, hakona boyfriend na hakona girlfriend mwingine. So watu, usikuwe deceived na mtu, uone venye watu wanafanya na wewe uwanze. Nime kuambia this is Kenya. Uwezi enda kwa mzazi umambia ati mimi nataka kuwa mwana mke mwazangu wapi. Ulisikia wapi. But pesa ikiwa involved. Najua ni meuna watu wanaingiria president juwa na anja ongelelea hii mambo. Wacha tuwa nyamaze. Kwa sambambu pesa zinaletua. Si pesa ziretue. Si tukona shida watu wanakufa na njaa. Mvua kujanyesha. So we are broke. Nina understand the president. He is working for benefit. Tukipata pesa tunazipata. Lakini anjasema hamekubali hiyo kitu. Si hati na mudifend. But that is the bitter truth. We are benefiting from it. That is the bitter truth. But in Africa, don't be deceived. In Africa, there is nothing like homosexuality. People are just crowd chasing and doing it for money. And we do appreciate. Kama sahi mutu wa niambia ni jifanya lele. Kwa ni sinitava hata ndevu na nidunge suti. He, niambididuwe 50k. He, he, he. Utaona ni kijifanya bazu. Sita shugulika mutaongea aji, but pesa. Kuna mungina li niambia kuna place watu wanaindanga. Gay for hire. Alikuwa na niambia mii ni connection sijapata. Mii ni kipata tu mbora ni pewe kama 50G. Unasikia na set conditions. People have different personalities. Lakini 100% of Kenyan people they do it for money. That is it. So I wanted to create that awareness. Kama ukona mtoto mdogo mweleze. Akiona watu tiktoko wakikiziani wanaume wawili muambia hawa na jifanya diyo walipwe. Iyo na diyo ukweli. Usipata stress ati watoto wetu hii generation itakuwa njia. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Hata usistuke. Watu ni pesa wanatafuta. Hakuna mzazi. Bona usha wa yona. Mtu wanatoa testimony. Hakisema mimi ni mekani kiwa ngi. Tangu nizaliwe. Ati muzea kwa hivi. Nani muafrika mugani. Hakuna. Nothing like that. Hata kitu kama hiyo. Mtu kama baba msuwezi ongea kitu kama hiyo. Juhu hata ajui hiyo ni nini. Ati ni mwambia sijui uyu aliyoa mwana mke mungine. Nothing like that. Saa hii kungekua na watu waze, wakitoa testimony in Africa, wakisema we have been together for 40 years. Hakuna mtu kama we are nobody like that. Lakini sasa once mtu wame come out and a trade. Nani ukweli? Hata saa hii ni kandunga suti na nini na ni confess ni seme mini lili. Utaona TikTok ni megonga 50k. So, usikubali mtu wa kudeceive. Eh niko na kastori. Nilikuwa na kastana kengine ka best. Uyu demu alikuwa na best yake msichana. So ah, siku moja akakuja akaniambia. Uyu best yangu ni spoil. Kuna venye na mshu. Na mshuku. Kamuliza how sikuwa na get. Akaniambia it's like. Yee yeah, ananitaka. 
Hey, nilicheka ni kama vya so what are you going to do about it and she was like hey, I'm going to play along. So huyu demo alikuwa anaenda kwa huyu demo anafanya zile tu vitu anafanya. So ananiambia mimi unajua zinanibomba ate huyu hey, demo jana amenipea 10k. So wacha ni play along. So demo alikuwa anaenda demo anamfanyia tu vitu vyenye anamfanyia. Alafu huyu demo alikuwa na boy best. Immediately huyu akimaliza anakimbia huko. Alikuwa anaenda nini? Si ni kumaanisha anajakuwa satisfied. So hapo ndio watu wamefika na pesa. They can do anything. Juana huyo sahi huyo demu ni mtu sahi ako na kwake na ako na watoto wawili. You see? So mtu asikundisive. Imerundia tena. We can do anything for money. So usi usi depend depression juu naona watu huko ni mangeni malele. Watu wanafanya hivyo kwa pe, juu ya pesa. That is the bitter truth. Bona huyu demu alikuwa anatoka kwa huyo wamemalizana lakini bio bio anakimbia kwa huyu kijana mwingine. Si ni kumaanisha anjatosheka huko. Kulingana na views zangu venye wanawake waliumbwa, mwanamke lazima akae na mwanamke na mwanaume venye naonanga. Ezin unaona tukiwa high school. Ulikuwa una watu wanajaribu kukurecruit lakini unaona ah hii yote ni ufala. You are not into it. You see? Inafika place unaona ah hii yote ni ujinga kwa sababu that is not you. Ile kitu naizambia watu. Be yourself. Don't allow someone to deceive you. Ufanye zile vitu si wewe unafanya kwa sababu unafanya kitu ndio ni mtu amekumekia decisions. Eh? Unastukia mtu anajifanya anapenda wanaume lakini background ameoa. What for? Especially hapo kuna mtu ameniambia esta guza guza hiyo. Si nilimwambia nowadays wanaume wengine hata wanataka wahamie simu tu kwa mabimbi zao. Ni vitu zina happen. Nilisema on my previous video. Lakini sasa inafika place Mtu anajijua watu wamekuwa hypocrite. Unataka pressure hii side na unataka hii. Wacha watu wakuwe real. Be you. Usikumbali mtu akudeceive. Unaona? Unastukia kama mtu kanajifanya hata kana dunga suti, kamevaa mpaka tai, kamevaa sharp shooter, all of a sudden kakona ball. Paka unashindwa haka sasa hata akanjielewi. Hmm? Akanjuika kwa wapi? So that is the bitter truth. Kubali mtu wa kundisivu, life is yours. Be yourself. Thank you very much and see you on my next video. Bye.